Okay, this is a program I built using FileMaker Pro. As you can see, it will have this is a brand new record. I have a post view, an MLS view, which needs to have the password to go in right now. We will put cancel. So it says authorization required. If you were if you had a public key, it would it would fit in down here and you would be able to uh, calculate get into the MLS. If I go back and find one or two, there's one right there. It goes into a public key and you can go in without a password. But the key, as you can see, is quite long. So if you want to use that key, um, and it takes a little while to get in there, but here comes the result. This is one of our listings that we just brought online. Going to go, we don't even have a picture yet. Going to go out and take a picture. That's the active one. But at least you can see everything about this property. Then, my, since I, I might as well use this one, we can go into, I can go into my MOA view. Because I received the tax ID from this property, I'll show you this. Cut that, take it off. That's part, there's nothing in but if when I add the ID in there, which the whole number would come in from, for instance, the MLS page, or you can also search it by name. There's many names to get that number. Once you put that number in there, it's there. No number, the number automatically fills it in. Now, I've already done all the information on there, but if I go into the property information, I can get a couple things. Condos are a little harder to track because there's no block, lot and block. But, for instance, oh, I don't want to go back and, show it and do another one, but let's say the thing would automatically, if we put a lot and block in here, it's going to automatically give us the title. Now, in this case, I had to look it up because condos are a little harder to look up. But here's the recorder's office information all automatically put in there for you. If I was to take away, and I'll do it down here, because this is a part of the links that my program that I created, it's just creating links. You're doing what one server does and following it up and saying, hey, I want to be in, and it's public. So it's not, uh, I know that they call this hacking, but hacking is not necessarily a bad word. You only get in trouble if you hack places that are illegal to hack. But let's say I take out the district, which is 301 in this case. Now I'm back to nothing, you know. If I put it in, now the thing's going to automatically give me the information. From there, you can do a lot of things, but you can get the plat. You can get the time it was sold. You can get the deed of trust information. Um, everything you want to know about that property, pretty much, even like the covenants. Though, right now, the only thing that's in there are images, of, for instance, the deed. So it'll say C image, but it, it'll go outside the program, so we won't do that. Now, I got the address here. I also found out where the schools are. Schools went in, built this address, um, and the same thing with the zip code. The zip code's there, puts it in automatically. I haven't got it to, ironically, the post office has fields actually sh shifted around. I don't know why, but they do. So you, like account address 1 is address 2, and address 2 is address 1, and maybe it, it's to prevent certain things. But if you do submit it, you get the information in there, submit it, then you find out where the uh, places are. Like show curves. What's nice, oh, I'll go back to the school. What's nice about schools, you can click on the school button and there it is. That's who's there. Here's all the people. I mean, you can even go see who one of the teachers. Check them out. See who they are. Welcome them. Seems like a very competent teacher. She's uh, she drinks Diet Pepsi. That's great. Okay, to get back from this, you all, you can right click and go back. Right click again, go back if you want to do that. Zip code. We went through that. Google. This is the Google Map that can come up. And now what's nice about your Google Maps is it has a street view. So if you click there's that property right there. It's over by the lake. Uh, we can actually 
I've made this this program I made for a portable to be carried around. But I've also viewed other made other vi bigger. Uh, I mean, I don't. I can make the windows bigger, and maybe I don't have that already in there yet. Oh, post view. Got to go all the way to Google. Sorry. Um, and these this could be expanded, so I can make this larger. But that's what the property looks like on Google and it's got now if you go and you click Street View up here you're gonna find out whether or not they have done anything and put the Street Views in and where the blue is highlighted is where they have now gone down streets they haven't gone completely into this area down here where the property is and it might be a little bit closer but if we draw this little guy over here we then get a view of the street and that's what it looks like and if you want to you can go up and down these streets turn one way all the way around 360 degrees these are like our virtual tours though the gentleman that if you look right there that's a car off to the side that must have passed or doing this oh maybe it's just parked there but you can go west it tells you the direction you're going you click on this and then you can just start driving down the street Pretty soon we're going to come to Boniface over here. And as we get there, you'll come into another street in a second. I believe. There it is. Now you can turn this direction and go north on Boniface. You can turn a little bit faster by going up here, too, and turn it that way. But that's Boniface right there. Oops, we're on the wrong side of the street. Well, that's the way the program is, I guess, you know. I don't know if I want to get, you know, it'd be nice to be on the right side of the street going that direction. But I guess that's how they've, uh, they don't have two directionals. Or if I, you know, and maybe they don't want to put it on one side or the other, chooses. I don't know. But anyhow, that's how it goes. You also, of course, the, the terrain. Uh, what's it you want to knock this? Actually, you can still go down the street. Wouldn't you have the terrain? I didn't know that. And you can go full screen on this also. It depends on the size of your browser. So if you open that up in another window, let's say you decided to open this up, once it creates the map or link, and that one I just, Google lets you link to that page. So copy that link, go into the, opened up on the other side, but it opened up here, put in this link. Copy it, paste it, I mean, paste, oh, sometimes things are slow, and I did it twice, there it goes, paste it once, go, and you can check out the maps, and what I see happening is there'll be more than one place, like right now Google has it set up, so if you want more than one address on the map, it's on, you have, I think you have to pay around 10, they only work with developers, so you pay around $10,000 to become a developer, and then of course they sell that to other people. But that would be the biggest view, and of course, if you had a huge television, you'd get the whole vis the whole city, and you can go in and out from your view, of course. But back to my program, and the way to get back to a program is, you know, Alt Tab. Do you ever do that? There it is, the the one file maker pro up, you know, Alt. There it is. Want to go back 